Gold Rush star Rick Ness has a fresh start in season 14. However, a former member of Team Rally is less than pleased that Ness has forgotten a promise. Who has called out Rick and what is his story? Here are the latest dramatic details. On Tuesday, Gold Rush alum Chis Cruz went to Instagram to share his new baby. It is a 1972 Gran Torino in a gorgeous bottle green. Cruz, a member of Team Rally since the beginning also revealed that he bought this classic car with some of the hard-earned money he got from gold mining. There's a lot in this post. Chris Cruz was handpicked by Rick Ness to join his team when he worked his own claim. Last year, Chris, Z, and other members of Team Rally went to the Yukon to find that their leader and friend did not show up. At that time, the discovery cameras showed Rick, who revealed that he had sad. However, at the beginning of this season, Rick confessed to Z that he used cocaine instead of dealing with his mental health issues. But now he is pivoting. This means a new crew and a cleaned-up lifestyle. More than that, he is determined to become a success. Perhaps the biggest part of Chris Cruz's post was that he had still not heard from Rick Ness. He has not seen the Gold Rush star. Moreover, he is still waiting for money owed to him. While season 14 is at the halfway point, Ness started mining back in March. Before that, he was back in Wisconsin to sell his mom's house to pay for his return. So he was around, but Rick failed to connect with a friend who wound up unemployed because Rick was a no-show. In September, Rick spoke to TV Insider about returning to gold mining. He admitted that during his lost year, he shut out people. Then, he proceeded to diss his former dedicated crew of friends. He revealed that he consciously chose to build a new team from scratch. It certainly seems as though Chris Cruz has responded to this comment about trust. He trusted Rick Ness to pay his gold bonus. Rick has not seen him, nor has he talked to him. Lastly, he has not given him the gold bonus he worked hard for. Gold Rush fans, what do you think about Chris Cruz's post and revelation? Don't be afraid to share what you really think of how Rick Ness treated his former team. Hello everyone, welcome to back my Gold Rush channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In the realm of Gold Rushes, where fortunes are forged and dreams are shattered, the name Rick Ness stands as a symbol of both triumph and tribulation. The bearded miner, known for his rugged determination and relentless pursuit of gold, has found himself at the center of a controversy that threatens to tarnish his glittering reputation. An anonymous figure, a shadowy alum from the world of gold mining, has come forward with a claim that Rick Ness owes him a substantial sum of money. As the story unfolds, it unveils a web of intrigue, broken promises, and the darker side of the glittering pursuit of the precious metal. The tale begins in the heart of the Klondike, where the promise of untold riches lures prospectors from every corner of the globe. Rick Ness, having made a name for himself on the hit reality TV show Gold Rush, became a household name synonymous with the pursuit of the elusive yellow metal. However, as with any venture, the road to success in the gold mining business is fraught with challenges, and sometimes these challenges extend beyond the mining claims and sluice boxes. The anonymous alum, who chooses to go by the pseudonym Silent Prospector, reveals that he and Rick Ness crossed paths during the heady days of a particularly promising gold strike. The prospect of abundant riches and the allure of striking gold together led them to form a partnership, with Silent Prospector providing crucial resources and expertise to boost their chances of hitting the motherload. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows over the rugged terrain, the duo set to work. Days turned into weeks, and the promise of a fortune lingered tantalizingly close. However, as the dust settled and the reality of the mining business set in, so did the tensions between the once inseparable partners. Silent Prospector claims that the rift began when Rick Ness allegedly made critical decisions without consulting him. 
The partnership, once built on trust and a shared dream, began to crumble under the weight of conflicting interests. The prospect of a golden windfall became a distant mirage as legal disputes loomed on the horizon. In an exclusive interview with a reputable mining publication, Silent Prospector lifted the veil on the alleged debt owed by Rick Ness. The amount, he claims, is not just a monetary value, but a representation of broken promises and a betrayal of trust. According to Silent Prospector, Rick Ness owes him a substantial sum for the resources invested, including equipment, labor and operational costs that were promised to be reimbursed once the gold started flowing. The revelation has sent shockwaves through the tight-knit community of gold miners, where honor and integrity are often as valuable as the precious metal itself. Many industry insiders express surprise at the allegations, as Rick Ness has built a reputation as a hardworking and dedicated miner through his appearances on Gold Rush. The news has prompted speculation and whispers in every mining town and around every campfire as miners question the dynamics of partnerships in an industry where trust is the bedrock of success. Rick Ness, on the other hand, vehemently denies the allegations, dismissing them as baseless and fueled by personal vendettas. In a press release, Ness states that he values integrity and has always strived to maintain transparent and fair dealings with his partners. He asserts that the claims of Silent Prospector are an attempt to tarnish his reputation and cast a shadow over his hard-earned success in the gold mining world. As the public awaits further developments in this unfolding drama, the case serves as a cautionary tale for aspiring gold miners and investors. The allure of the gold rush with its promises of wealth beyond imagination, may blind participants to the complexities of human relationships and the potential pitfalls of collaboration in a high-stakes industry. Beyond the glitz and glamour portrayed on reality television, the gold mining business is a gritty and challenging endeavor. It requires not only a keen eye for geology, but also a shrewd understanding of human nature. The tale of Rick Ness and Silent Prospector reveals the delicate balance between dreams and reality, where the pursuit of gold can either forge unbreakable alliances or unravel them into a quagmire of disputes and debts. The story also raises questions about the broader implications for the gold mining industry. Will this incident prompt a reassessment of the collaborative nature of mining partnerships? Will it lead to increased scrutiny of contracts and agreements within the industry? As the echoes of this controversy reverberate through the mining communities, it remains to be seen whether it will serve as a cautionary tale or a mere footnote in the annals of the gold rush. In the end, the shadow cast over Rick Ness's golden legacy raises more questions than answers. As the legal battle looms and the allegations continue to reverberate through the Klondike and beyond, one thing is certain. The pursuit of gold, with all its glitter and allure, remains a multifaceted journey where fortunes can be found not only in the earth, but also in the complexities of human relationships and the unwavering pursuit of integrity.